Hey guys, it's Jay Malv. We're going to talk today about dealing with the period objection. Okay, so a lot of you that aren't experienced women don't realize like the fucking mechanics or logistics of what's going on with a woman in her period, right? So there's 30 days in a month. A period typically lasts five days. So if you do the math, that's one out of six times you're going to run into the girl being on her period. That applies to girls you pull from night game and day game, that applies to girls you take home from dates, that applies to fuck buddies, that applies to even if you have a fucking girlfriend, okay? Now, most girls, from my experience and from other top guys' experience, most girls are not okay with fucking on their period, all right? So a lot of them are going to be like, um, it's my period, we can't have sex, blah, 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 right? So this presents a big problem and a very real problem, literally, literally one out of six times, okay? And when you, so when you start fucking lots of girls, you're going to run into this all the time. And lots of these girls, like, they're grossed out, like, they don't they don't want to have sex in their period, right? Like, I don't know how much you guys know about periods, but they're wearing a fucking tampon that's just, like, keeping the blood inside and all this bullshit, right? Now, <clears throat> I'm going to teach you how to deal with this so that you can still have sex with them, right? So you can still fuck your fuck buddies, so you can still close on the date. Because, trust me, like, there's nothing worse than, like, you pull a really hot girl home from the club and she's like, well, I want to fuck, but I'm on my period, right? And it's like, a, you're just like, brr, 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 like this huge fucking letdown, right? Or you have a, you, you want to invite a fuck buddy over, like a really hot fuck buddy, for instance. And she's like, well, I really want to fuck, but I'm on my period, right? And like, you know, there's always anal sex or titty fucking or blowjobs or whatever. But I'm going to teach you how to deal with overcoming. The, basically, it's just like a thing you have to get past, right? Like, you can you can convince her that it's okay to fuck on her period. I'm going to teach you how to do that. So, first off, if you're one of those fucking um, pussy guys out there that's like, I would, wouldn't want to, like, put my dick in a, a hole where there's blood or some shit, okay, then just fucking turn off this video now. Uh, my advice will not apply to you. So this is only, uh, you know, I'm just putting this out there, that you, have, you have to be okay with fucking a girl on, the, on her period. It's actually not that big of a deal. Um, you can put a condom on if you want to, and just remove the condom and throw it away after, and you have no blood. Or if you're going unprotected, you can just get a shower after. It's not it's not that big of a deal at all. Okay, and it's some people think it's really gross. It's not really that big of a deal. Like you're gonna wa you can get a shower immediately after, and like, or you can just wash your dick, like, and it, the blood is gone, and no, you know, crisis averted. So <clears throat> the main problem in the girl's mind is that she thinks. Well, she's kind of like embarrassed about it. It's, it's the same thing as like when a woman is going home with a stranger from a club. She doesn't want you to judge her. She doesn't want her friends to judge her. This is kind of like, that's like a good analogy. This is kind of like the same bullshit. All right. So she has blood in her vagina because it's her period. I'm not, I'm not trying to be crass, but that's what's going on. And she's kind of embarrassed about it. And she doesn't want you to like be grossed out or like see the blood or like, you know, it's like the whole topic, like the whole, is just kind of like gross to her, and she's like embarrassed about it. Okay, so the 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 number one thing you need to do is convince her that it doesn't bother you. If you do that, it's green light almost every time. Like that's down and dirty. That's <laughs> no pun intended or irony intended with down and dirty, because it is actually a dirty <laughs> a dirty situation that you're that you are embarking upon. It's not really that big of a deal as I said before. But that's, that's really it. Like, if you convince her that it's not a big deal to you, then it's usually not a big deal to her. So, what I would tell them is I'll be like, listen, and I always say that <laughs> the examples I give them are, are that I've done this before with girlfriends, because I've fucked tons of girls in their period. Like I said, it's one in six times. Like, I've been with over 750 girls now. That's over 100 situations where the girl's on her period. Just doing simple math. I've had lots of rotations. There's been... Countless times where the girl's on her fucking period, right? <clears throat> now, um, when you convince her of this, like, she's like, okay, like, he doesn't care. Like, as long as you're not grossed out by it, usually she's not grossed out by it. Okay, so here's the example I give. I'm like, listen, like, okay, you're on your period. That's cool. It's fine. But I've had sex with lots of girls before on their period. Girl, Ex-girlfriends, right? Of course, you got Like, I, I usually caveat it with that like I'm not like oh I run around fucking tons of strangers on their periods which I actually do but I don't tell them that <laughs> so I tell them <laughs> I just thought of a funny story actually that RSG Jeffy told where 
where he would actually wrap like the string of the tampon around and like jerk it out over his shoulder and he and he I remember the quote from the video he said I have no <laughs> I have no qualms with yanking a mouse tail. I'm not <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into like the whole thing of like trying to pull the tampon out and all that's like that's not even relevant for this video. The pur <laughs> the purpose of this video is to just deal with the objection of her being uncomfortable about having sex in her period and letting her know that for one you're totally cool with it. That's okay. So I'll break this down. Number one, you're totally cool with it, and you have to actually like be genuine about that. It's not like yeah, like yeah, we, I'm, I'm okay. Like if she sees that you're like uncomfortable about it, it's not gonna happen. Okay. And again, if you if you're not comfortable with it, actually, just, just don't fucking watch this video. It's totally fine. This is only for the guys that have no problem fucking a girl on a period, which is actually not a big deal. So number one, convince her that it's not a fucking big deal. And that you don't care. Number two, um, give anecdotal stories about, well, not, you don't have to go into details, specific details, but just tell her, I've had sex with ex-girlfriends on their period. It was not a big deal at all. I didn't care. She didn't care. And, and a lot of times they'll be like, oh, well, it's gross to me. Like, I don't care if you don't care. It's gross to me. Right? So they're, they're just telling you, like, they're grossed out, so they don't want to do it. So what I say to that is I say, well, all these exes were were really against it too and they never fucked on their period and I was like listen I don't care and like let's just try it and you know we can stop if, if it's too gross for you and we tried it and it was fucking amazing and they're like oh and it was like similar like with my stripper game video which is a separate video I'll link to that at the end actually um I tell strippers like oh I've dated plenty of strippers before in these other towns and like and they're like oh he's fucked strippers I'm a stripper like I can fuck him too, right? So it's kind of like giving them, it's like, they like it's it's giving them like um, a window into you have having been gone down that road before. I don't know, I don't know the best way to say it, but it's like he's fucked girls in their period that were afraid of fucking on their period, and it worked out great. He's fucked strippers before, and it worked out great. So I can fuck on my period. So I'm a stripper, and I can fuck him. Like, that's just how it works. That's that's like the logic. <clears throat> that's how you convince some of this stuff. So. Um, so number one, convince them that you're cool with it. Number two, um, give stories about how you fuck girls on their period before and it was fun. Number three, I will just throw out like some funny shit, which is actually a fact that, um, women are more horny on their period, which is true. Like women are more horny during their period, which is true. Um, so I'm like, it'll be even better sex and it actually usually will be for them. Um, Number four, okay, this is kind of an important technical point. You give them two options. Like, there's usually two ways to go about doing this sex on the period thing. Number one is you put a towel down, right? I think it's straight up. Like, there's a lot of videos out there that just fucking beat around the bush, blah, blah. I'm, I'm telling you, <clears throat> all my videos are short to the point and practical, and I don't fucking say anything that doesn't need to be said. I don't fucking provide a whole bunch of fluff information or or cutaways to the, to the city I'm in, because none of that shit fucking matters. I'm teaching you how to fuck a girl on a period right now. So here we go. <clears throat> you say, listen, we can put down a towel. There's probably not going to be any blood anyway. It, usually there's not, like, unless she's on, like, the first day or two. For those of you that don't know, the first day or two out of the five are, like, the heaviest. It's, like, the most blood. So unless she's on the first day or two, like, usually there's not even that much blood at all. Or or there's, like, none. Like, I've fucked plenty of girls in their periods where there was no blood on the condom afterwards or no blood on my dick if I went raw afterwards. And there wasn't even a fucking issue to deal with, okay? <clears throat> but you tell her, listen, we'll put a towel down. Like, if she's riding on top or something, like, it's not like there's gonna be, like, blood pouring out. Like, for, the, for those, <laughs> for those of you that, like, haven't tried this, it's, it's, like, not even a fucking big deal. Like, if, if the girl's riding on top of you, for instance, there's not gonna be, like, blood, like, pouring out the sides, like, on, across, over your dick, like, onto the bed. On, like, it's, there's gonna be, like, no interference from the blood at all, and then when she gets off, there might be like a little bit of blood left behind. If it's her first or second day, there might be a, a bit more, but it's just gonna be like on the condom, which you can take off and throw away, or it's gonna be like on your fucking dick, which you can then go and wash <laughs> or shower, and like there's like no issue. The second option, if she doesn't wanna put down the towel, which usually they're fine with the towel, and by the way, when it gets on the towel, if it does, a lot of times it even doesn't, you can wash the towel, and then, you know, it's not like you have to go burn the towel, 
if you have some kind of stain remover or something like that, it'll come out. The second option is to fuck in the shower. Okay, that can be done with or without a condom. That's your personal preference. For me, it's usually without. And you just fuck them like doggy style or some shit. And you're in the shower and, and the blood just goes straight to the drain and you, no one sees it. And again, like I said before, like it's not like pouring out of her. Like a little bit will get on your dick. But in this particular situation, like neither of you will see the blood. It's not going to be like this like murder scene <laughs> on the floor of the shower, okay? That's pretty much all there is to be said about it. Convince her that it's not a big deal to you. Convince her that other girls have done it with you before and it wasn't a big deal and that they really enjoyed it. Let her know that, like, you know, she should just try it. Like, a lot of them have not tried it before, okay? And a lot of them actually have. So if they if they have tried it before with exes or random guys or whatever, they'll be more open to it once you tell them that you're comfortable with it. But for the girls that are, like, really, like, hard case, like... No, this really grossed me out of this shit. You're like, listen, we're not going to see the blood in the shower. Like, it's going to naturally wash into the drain. It's not a big deal. Or we can put a towel down, and any blood that happens to come out, we'll, it'll just hit the towel. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, you just, you just have to convince her, like, it's not gross to me. It's like a natural thing. It's part of nature. It's totally fine, right? And then the reason I'm making this video, by the way, like, some of you guys might think I'm a fucking, <laughs> like, pervert or crazy guy or something. Like I said, one in six times is going to happen to you. So, like, um, I don't know the exact math, but if you fuck 100 girls, it's probably, what, like 15 or something, it's going to happen. Like, you have a rotation, it's going to happen five days out of the month that your rotation girls can't fuck you, can't fuck you, right? That, that are giving you sh some kind of shit for me on the period. I'm fucking late to meet this, this chick for lunch. That's pretty much all there is to be said. Just make sure, make sure, like, you, you sell it to them that it's okay with you. Fuck, hold on one second. Hey, I'll be right down. Okay. Make sure you sell it to them that you're cool with it. Make sure that you sell it to them that it's going to be cool with them. Okay? And then give them the two options, the towel or the shower. And, you know, put in, like, the whole adventurous spike, like, you know, like, come on, like, I know you want to fuck. Like, you could just give me a blowjob or whatever, but... You know, this you're you're more horny right now because you're on your period. Like, I've done this before. It's not a fucking big deal. Like, let's just, let's just try it and we can stop if it's a big deal. And once you're fucking, they're not gonna be like, oh, like, let's stop because I'm on my period now. Like, no, they they don't. They want to keep going because they're enjoying the experience. So that's it. Uh, good luck and <laughs> one other <laughs> one other side note is you can actually. <laughs> it's like a gross thing to include, but. One other side note is you can actually like eat a girl out on her period because there's, the blood is like in the vagina. It's not like on the clit. And for those of you that know anything about licking a pussy, you're licking the clitoris. So there's, there's no blood there really. Um, there might be some residual blood, but still it's not a big deal. So you, that's open season as well. All right. I hope you, enjoy, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, a lot of you might think I'm a scumbag, but this is important stuff. I, don't, I haven't seen any other content out there related to this. <laughs> So go forth, prosper, and fuck bloody vaginas. Thank you for tuning in.